हेलो एंड वेलकम टू आकाश वीडियो सॉल्यूशन ऑफ AIPMT NEET 1 of 2016 in this uh, physics discussion we have uh, taken code y of the question paper in this code y the physics section begins with question 91 as you can see and the first question that is question 91 reads as what is the minimum velocity with which a body of mass m must enter a vertical loop of radius r so that it can complete the loop and the options are as follows this is a kind of question which is straightforward you can say result oriented most of the students remember the result direct result as under root 5 gr if you try to remember the expression at the top this is the minimum speed which is under root gr at this point it is under root 3 gr and at this point the minimum speed must be under root 5 gr if you want to do the calculation here this velocity under root gr can be obtained by balancing the force like mv square by r this is equal to mg so that will give you the expression of velocity here and between this point and this point you can do the energy balance to obtain this particular result so rather I will always suggest that this is the kind of expression that you should remember as direct result. So I am marking the answer first for this particular question, question 91. Now let us uh, talk about next question that is question 92. Now in the next question that is question 92, this is again a very straightforward question and number of times this question has been directly asked. It says that if the magnitude of sum of two vectors, like you have to add two vectors and take the magnitude of that, for which you will have standard formula, is equal to the magnitude of difference of two vectors, then the angle between these vectors is. That means uh, this is asking you to equate these two. You see, this is the sum of the two vectors a plus b and magnitude of that. So I have put the mod sign is equal to, they are saying, magnitude of difference. So now you can say if you write down the elaborate formula of this, this is a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta under root, under the root is equal to you can say a square plus b square minus 2ab cos theta under the root, you understand? So you just square, you cancel out the things, ultimately you will get 4ab cos theta equals to 0. You can clearly see a cannot be 0, b cannot be 0, so cos theta is 0. So this implies that cos theta is equal to 0. So it implies that theta is equal to 90 degree. So for that matter, I will be marking answer 3. You can solve this thing geometrically also. Like uh, if you have a rectangle, then only you can see both the diagonals are same only if uh, it's a rectangle or say a square. So the angle between a and b should be 90 degree. So this is the way. It's a very straightforward question you have marked the answer 3 now let us look at uh, next question that is question 93 